G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of my time at Sandrock. Hope you guys are doing well, we're just hanging out here at home, we've just woken up, uh, time to get the day started. That uh, previous episode was quite interesting, wasn't it? Uh, we had a couple of highlights, I would have to say. We had a chat with Penny early on and she explained that she had uh, gone a little bit too hard on the practicing for this upcoming music competition. And uh, yeah, unfortunately she got sick, so we had to take her to the clinic. Uh, seems like uh, she just needed to take some herbal tea and hopefully she'll actually be okay after that. Uh, and we subsequently accompanied Chi and Justice to the Starship Ruins, a different section of it actually, and uh, we found the elusive water, uh, I think it's a atmospheric water generator or something like that. Uh, and yeah, I, I guess it's partially damaged, uh, so we need to maybe find a way to fix it or something along those lines. Anyway, we'll see what happens next. We'll see what happens next. All right, I was actually fully expecting some kind of a, um, you know, a cutscene, but I guess not. Logan has something to say, though. Hey, was uh, out and about and wanted to let you know, Andy's feeling a bit under the weather. Nothing serious, but well, as you know, he looks up to you. Reckon it'd mean a lot to him if you stopped in. Okay, sure, I'll visit him. Uh, thanks. It'll really brighten his day. No worries. Okay, well, that's another thing that's now on the list. Uh, well, it's not exactly on the list, but uh, it is happening, and we should actually go and see Andy. I was just making a comment in the previous episode about how um, I feel like a lot of people are getting sick for some reason, but I initially sort of dismissed that because, uh, you know, people were getting sick for different reasons. Uh, oh, another 13 there. Very nice. Um, but yeah, maybe there's something mysterious going on here and people are just becoming under the weather for whatever reason. Beer Blue, Justice filled me in on what happened with the atmospheric water generator. Oh, got it right. <laughs> Thank you for your good work. The director tells me that it's already running at capacity. This is officially a major milestone in Sandrock. I'll be discussing it with all of our citizens at the fireside meeting tomorrow morning. It's a pit of, uh, pivotal team member, please come and join us. Okay, fireside meeting tomorrow morning. Okay, well, I uh, gotta make sure that we don't miss that one. Uh, I had thought that the machine was somewhat damaged and that perhaps maybe we may need to try and repair it or something, but maybe I was wrong. Something from Penny here. Blue, today's the day of the competition. I hope you didn't forget, as the person who has helped me the most in Sandrock, I hope you can come and watch the competition. It doesn't matter who you vote for, I just want to see you enjoying yourself. See you at the stage outside of the blue moon at 8 o'clock. Alright. Well, there we go. We've got another thing that we need to do for the day. We are a busy man. Uh, aside from all of the stuff that happened in the previous episode, uh, we also got our brand new uh, jacket. Uh, I think it's like a Senor Snaps or whatever jacket, and uh, that kind of looks cool. Um, I, I probably would like to get like some better pants and better shoes at some point, but again, I'm not going to rush into it because we are likely uh, to get some of this stuff from quest lines. Let's just hope that the quest actually, or the quests, give us uh, some items that have a, a nicer color scheme than the the dino version that we were given, uh, which I am probably going to sell off at some point. Anyway, uh, we've picked up commissions, so plenty of commissions to do. Machines are still chugging away, but I would maybe like to just check up on some of these things, make sure that they are continuing uh, to produce materials. Uh, advanced mechanical scrap, yep, we can do some of that. Uh, and let's go with plastic. Actually, might need to just cancel that first. I'll actually uh, continue with the fiber. 
and then we'll do uh, some plastic as well. Alright, um, let's see. Yeah, this will still take a while to complete. But we'll come back to some of this stuff. This probably needs something else in the queue. So let's go with... Magnesium Chromium Brick. That might be a good idea. We are a little bit low on that. And Zinc Titanium Alloys. So... I guess we've got enough Chromium Steel Bars. Maybe we can get rid of that and then just drop in the Zinc Titanium Alloys instead. We'll just try and stock up on that. Cool. Uh, and I don't think we really need any of the other machines working on stuff. Let's just quickly deal with the farm. Very nice. And I guess we should get some Jute Cantaloupe in this one. It's still taking a while for us to make the bio crust in this space, isn't it? Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. The soil is fertile as well, but maybe in just a little while it might actually turn into bio crust. There we go, and let's actually switch back to mushrooms here. We'll uh, replace the ones that we've just picked up, and now we should be ready to start doing commissions. Uh, we'll also visit Andy. Um, Want to make sure that he's feeling okay. Perhaps maybe we might need to do something for him as well. We'll see. I wonder if he's getting sick because he's uh, he's trying to invent things a little bit too much. You know, he's uh, becoming quite interested in the sciences, which is very good. Um, let's just double check that we've actually got everything that we need to hand in. I think we do. Uh, if anything, maybe I'm just going to stock up even more on the meat stuffed mushrooms. Ooh, our uh, fine rice bait is almost ready. Okay. Let's get out there. Turn in all of these commissions, and, uh... Yeah, we don't exactly have tasks to do right now. Which feels very weird, you know? <laughs> we've, uh, we've run out of things to do. Alright. Uh, I mean... If we come to a point that we completely run out of stuff, we could always, uh, you know... Like, do some of the wanted stuff from the Civil Corps, for example. Um, that's something that I've definitely not spent a lot of time with. Um, if we swing by the museum, it might not be a bad idea for us to also chuck down the sundial. Uh, and that can sort of just sit there and make the museum even nicer, hopefully. Uh, oh, okay, it's for Heidi. Heidi. Hmm. There you go. She's obviously in there, uh, using the punching machine, maintaining her high score, as usual. Um, let's just tag both of these things, and yeah, we just need to make our way over that side. We'll hit up the apartments first, I think. Or, uh, actually, since we're here, we may as well visit Andy. Banana, orange, jelly. I need the yellow and orange kind. Aru, you came back and you brought the goods. Better share him. Hey, he's been going in and out of it. Oh, high fever, but could be worse. And you may have noticed the rambling jelly and donuts, something about a gumshoe named Ned. Logan? Hey, kid, you awake? If you can hear me, 
Tell me who that is over there. Oh, yeah. It's you. I got something for you. I was gonna bring it to you, but wouldn't you know, I came down with the dang plague before I could take him over. <coughs> it's the Super Shield, Mark II. Even more super. <coughs> Got me a diagram and everything. Wow, I don't know if this is like really, really bad or if he's just, you know, being a little bit dramatic. But, uh, yeah. Coming down with the plague. It's, uh, <laughs> a little bit extreme. This is about. I thought you needed cheering up. Nothing would cheer me up more than a super shield. Come on, just look at it. I learned a lot since way back when. <laughs> wow, I, I wasn't expecting to have to come back to the whole super shield idea, but yeah, let's do that. Uh, do this. So, still a ways to go, kid. He's faking it for the shield. You know what? This diagram looks great. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I learned a lot. You know, that uppity science filler. He knows a lot of stuff, even if you've got to <coughs> ring it out of him. Then there's all the late nights I spent writing it, rewriting it. Maybe he did just like work himself a little bit too hard to get this diagram, like, actually up to scratch. It, it didn't look too bad, it's not perfect, but I think uh, giving a few encouraging words would probably help. Kinda of the last feller in town I'd ever see you taken after. Hey, wait a sec, late nights? That's why you're sick, kid. what I say? I regret nothing for science. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the diagram home, all right? Think on it. I'll be better soon. Logan needs it for the outpost. It'll absorb high impact blows. Made it with a space punch in mind. Based on that chip I stole. It's like the anti-space punch. You need it out there, pal. Uh-huh. Doing it all for me now, are you, pal? All right, all right. Your offer's been heard. It's time for you to get back to resting up. I'm gonna let our friend be on their way. You hear me? Okay. Wait! Huh? I wanna <coughs> ask y'all... Make it quick. Sounds like you're getting worse. I wanna ask y'all... How's I supposed to know... If you two ain't gonna take a page out of horror's book and quit the gang. Aw. Easy, pal. Who said anything about any of that? How's I supposed to know you two ain't gonna ditch me too? He ain't ditched us. We sent him up there on behalf of the gang. Next time we see him, he'll be twice the man you knew him as. Yeah? Sometimes the pack's got to split up, kid. Them's the breaks. One day, you might have to fly a solo mission yourself. But I won't let you out of my sight till you're good and ready. Now, that's a promise. All right, you promised. Have I ever let you down? Now, quit blubbering and get some shut-eye. Okay. Oh, that was a little bit hot, felt. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry your well-wishing got turned into a sales pitch. <laughs> Reckon I'll step off for a bit and see if I can't track down some of that jelly he's mumbling about. Oh, uh, what about that shield thing, huh? Didn't want to commit you to some fruitless endeavor. Can you actually make something out of those drawings? Sure, I think I can. Well, that'd be mighty swell. Just, uh, bring it on by if you manage to, uh, cook anything up. Hopefully something like that would lift his spirits like I originally intended. Alright, well, we'll definitely look at building this space, sorry, uh, super shield, rather. <laughs> it's getting mixed up with so the long, space Mark. punch. 
Uh, right. Ah, uh, poor little Andy. Um, he thinks that perhaps maybe one of these days the, you know, more people from the gang are going to split up, but, uh, you know, Logan's right. Sometimes, sometimes you're gonna go out there solo. And that's just what life gives you at times. Alright, so, the other two commissions, let's get this done. And I think for the day, we might actually have nothing else except for uh, needing to... Hang on a sec. Uh... Where did Hugo go? Did he just step out as soon as I walked in? That's probably what happened. God. Hugo! <laughs> hey there. There you go, Thank mate. Alright, uh, as I was gonna say, we'll probably have some time for ourselves today. Uh, and I guess the real question is, what should we get up to? Um, just trying to think of stuff that we perhaps haven't really done. Nia, uh, do you say anything else? Hello. Not exactly. Sandrock is growing on me. Despite the weather and the limited plant life, it's a wonderful feeling that we're making a difference. The two of us together. Be seeing ya. All right. Off to our friend Ernest to deliver his shrooms. He really, really loves these, doesn't he? He's paying like 2,000 golds this time as well. That's Hello. really nice. Wow. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, the next thing that we could do is make this shield. So, you know, finally we actually have something on the list. But, uh, we don't need to rush into it. Uh, we do have the comp at 8 o'clock today to attend. Uh, competition at, uh, at the stage, yep, at 8 o'clock. So we shouldn't be late for that. Um, I am going to commission just a little bit more meat, I reckon. Um, and that should be enough. Don't really need to commission anything else. Alright, very good. And then from here, uh, let's decide on what to do. I reckon we might uh, need to go to Gecko Station. There's some materials from Gecko Station that we could potentially make use of that we're uh, running a little bit low on. And I think um, Gecko Station was also the last place that we we went to to gather up some materials as well. So we'll continue mining uh, and uh, see if we can just get, you know, some more ores and stuff. Uh, obviously keeping an eye out on the time, making sure that we're going to be back by 8 o'clock. Um, petrified wood? I guess we could get some petrified wood as well. Um, I can't really recall if we're super low on it. But some people still seem to be requesting a whole bunch of petrified wooden products. So... Maybe. Maybe we can, like, grab a little bit, at the very least. No, we haven't exactly been back to the shipwreck ruins in a very long time, either. 
I really don't know if there's a need though. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of people requesting things to be made from components that we can find in there. So perhaps maybe it's not really such a big deal. Uh, we are already at layer 11. Um, and we don't really have a lot of time before it hits close to 8 o'clock, so... Um, I think it's okay to start again from there. And just mine what we can find. Visible chromium ore before. I'm pretty sure we've actually got quite a lot of iron, but maybe a little bit lower on the chromium and the manganese ores. That's okay. We'll we'll stock up on everything anyway. Make sure that we've got plenty of stuff. Yeah, I'm really thinking about maybe switching out to a different weapon very soon, and perhaps maybe it's not a bad idea for us to learn how to make some better weapons from the forge. And uh, from there we should be able to just craft, say, uh, maybe a set of daggers this time. Maybe we can go back to using daggers for a little bit. It is 7 o'clock already. We can just keep going a tiny little bit more. Yep, and I think we'll head back now. Back to the station, and then uh, if we still have some time, I might actually go to the Commerce Guild and take a look at the recipes that we can potentially buy for weapons. Uh, actually, no, we don't exactly have time anymore, so uh, let's actually go and watch this performance. Uh, Sandy's probably going to be in the way of this whole performance if I trigger it now, so just gonna wait a little bit. Everyone ready? Alrighty. Good to see you folks. Uh, today we've got ourselves a little musical showdown between your beloved Kugo band and this here Penny from Barner Rock. Come on, Kugo. Just relax and play. That's right. You're gonna hear a song from both of us and vote on who you think shredded the best. It's really oh, lively today. Watching my little boy play. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me in your wonderful town. Today, I'm going to perform an adaption of one of my favorite songs. I'm expecting oh, quite a show. It's exciting.
All right, I guess people are actually voting. <laughs> I wish there was actually a, a proper, like, performance that we could watch. Uh, uh, look, let's give some love to Penny since she's just arrived. Because... Uh, but they both performed really well. If I don't vote for anyone, like... Does my relationship reduce for everyone? <laughs> you know what, Let, let's be fair and let's not vote for anyone because they were equally as good. Everyone's voting. Ready to count? Let's go! One vote for Kugo. One for Penny. Another for Penny. This one... is for Kugo. Down to the last vote. We're tied right now. Oh no. <laughs> so, so, this one will sit. Oh, ah. What in tarnation? That's the last vote. Who won? Did anyone see what it said? Where did it go? The wind was too strong. I dropped it. <laughs> Maybe the world is telling us that we shouldn't care who won. The most important thing is the music. Well, I gotta say, Missy, uh, when I heard you're playing your little song, I was worried that me and Hugo were gonna lose. <laughs> and then just kind of forgot all about it and enjoyed your music. He's right. This showdown really gave me some much needed inspiration. Even though your music is real different to ours, made me want to branch out a little. After listening to Kugo, I really felt inspired too. I feel like I learned the spirit of Sandrock just through your one tune. Your music is like a book, with the words shining in front of me, following the melody. It tells me about the soul of the people here. I also learned that music is to be enjoyed, not to be shot down. We shouldn't think about who wins or loses, but just that we love the music. You get a yee-haw for that. Woo! Yeah! Encore! I love it! Encore! 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 Well, that little song felt something familiar. I reckon it seems fitting we accompany you with an encore. I'd be honored. Kugoni, let's go. Oh, here we go. Beautiful.
That was a really good cutscene, actually. And I was sort of secretly hoping that there was uh, actually going to be a song included in this whole exercise, and uh, there you go. Let's have a chat with Penny. Your music, it sounds real familiar, you know? It's like, feels like something I might have played. <laughs> cool. You're trying to take credit for Penny's music? Think she can't write something like that herself. No. Oh. Wait a darn minute. Missy, did you pass through Walnut Grove, say, 20 years ago? No, but my ma did. She told me she saw someone play a song there that took her breath away. She'd hum it to me when I was a child, and that's what inspired me to become a musician. I told you I'd play the best song in the world, though mine was more of a tribute. I don't really know the arrangement, just the tune. And I kind of fudged the lyrics a little, since my ma couldn't remember it all anyway. I wonder if that line that she said just before was, uh, an homage to Tenacious D, <laughs> the greatest song in the world. Um, anyway. Let me tell you something. You know, that was... Ugh. Hey, uh, sorry, Penny. I think I heard Elsie calling her pa. Huh? Elsie? Uh, what's she need now? There you go. All's well that ends well. Right. I think the day is sort of over, isn't it? I mean, I do have a little bit of stamina here, so uh, let's just uh, use up what little stamina we have. Just gathering around at the uh, at the salvage area, or you fell salvage rather, and uh, we can have a sleep, and then. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the big meeting that we have to attend, fireside meeting. So we'll check that out in the morning, obviously. But yeah, hopefully Penny actually stays. I I'm not entirely sure if she's going to hang around uh, in Sandrock permanently or whether or not she's just, you know, passing by. Gather up the advanced mechanical scrap. Very good. Uh, I do have a little bit more to use up here, so let's just keep going. Some junk piles. And maybe some hard stone. We'll break all of those down, try and get some more bloodstones. That's it. Let's head back. Uh, farm might need looking after, so we'll quickly check on that. And uh, I'm also going to get more of the fine rice bait going if we can. I'm not entirely sure if we have more of the ingredients for it, but we'll have a look. Um, can we go with maybe tomatoes here? Might not be a bad idea. Alright, uh, fine rice bait, yeah, we can still make some more. So, alright, alright, alright. Now, I am, I'm starting to see what we're needing the avocado for. So, we definitely need to find some more avocados now, uh, to try and make more fine rice bait. So, let's do another batch. Uh, I'm just trying to remember where, uh, oh, these guys are out of their, um, 
out of their pen sort of area. I'm sure they won't get away though, but... Um, but yeah, those avocados, I think they're around the bend, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe even uh, near the Starship Ruins, perhaps? Anyway, it is time to go to sleep. Then we'll see what's uh, going to happen in the next day. Based on recent discoveries, it seems like the mayor has something to say. I'm sorry for calling everyone here so early in the morning, but I'm going to talk about something very important today. So thank you for coming. Important meeting. It's been a wild ride up to this point for our little town, huh? First, we got the sandstorms. Then a shortage of water, then of food, then people. We had enemies within and empires without. Maybe even sprinkle some bandits in there for good measure. But we survived them all, like the proud Sandrockers we are. And things are looking up. We defeated Duvos, we got Logan back, we got a new school, we even got water from Portia. But still... There's always that something in the back of our minds. The lack of water. Martel's oasis isn't getting any fuller. And it's not like Portia's water is free. The long-term development of Sandrock and reforestation felt distant. Unachievable, even. And then, our own Director Chi came through with a ray of hope. Guessing, guess some sort of robot, right? Some sort, some sort of, of robot. Portia now. Come on, don't leave us hanging here. All right, I won't keep y'all in suspense. Director Chi found a huge reservoir with its own water generator in the northern ruins. This relic machine can provide us with a substantial amount of water, enough to serve Sandrock for generations to come. Justice and Builder bravely accompanied the director to investigate the machine. They found it to be in perfect working order. Following their confirmations, Commissioner Wei and Heidi are now working on a plan to divert the water into town. Soon, everyone will have an endless supply of water. This is Come amazing. On. I leave us hanging here. Are my ears that deceiving means trees. me? Yeah, you all so of trees. And Thousands more. even. That's right. Oh, I, I know everyone's excited. I haven't been able to sleep so well myself. Now, our vision. It's like a miracle. All these years, something that seemed so far away, it's finally within reach. Everything we discussed seemed like such fantasy. It's just a pipe dream. But now, we really have the chance to make these dreams come true. Rudy, you're thought making I'd me see tear up this over day. here. You did, Fruit. <laughs> Sandrock is my home now. <clears throat> we will continue on, as we always have, in making Sandrock a better place. We can return Sandrock to what it should be in the memory of Martel and many others who gave their lives for us. And never forget to... Consider Member of the Commerce Guild, please stay a moment. Well, this is it, folks. We're about to endeavor on the most important project we've ever done here in Sandrock. We're counting on you all. Heidi will speak more about the details. Sure thing, Trudy. While you were checking out the generator, Commissioner Wei and I went over a feasibility plan to bring in the water from the north. Later, I double-checked with Director Chi as well. Turns out, a couple of things are working in our favor, for once. First, the reservoir is located at a higher elevation, meaning it'll take less energy to transfer the water to down here. Second, since Mason and Yan already did us the work of connecting the auxiliary tank in Sandrock storage to the Oasis, all we have to do is connect the northern reservoir to the auxiliary tank and the water will be in our water system. So, 
Our plan is to install pumps onto the northern reservoir, then install pipes and supports going into town. On top of this, Trudy has also requested that we add another pipe going to the outback to connect with the irrigation tower. That's about it. All right. I mean, it is a little bit complicated, isn't it? I mean, I would be a little bit worried about how much water pressure there is between the reservoir and our system. Um, and I'm wondering whether or not the abundance of water that can be found there, uh, sorry, right here, whether or not that would actually overload the system, but we'll see. Director Chi has already provided me with the diagrams for the water pump, water division pipes, and pipe support. He was in a hurry to get back to his research. Anyway, here they are. Do you think it can be done? This is so important to us. Thank you for the details, Heidi. And no worries, Mayor Trudy. It will be done. How about this? The Builder and Mian can each handle a section of the pipeline. The Builder can construct the north-south route into town. Mian can do the east-west route to the outback. I'll do the internal piping leading to the Sandrock storage. Sounds good. I could do it all, but let's let Mian do some of it. Yeah, we've got this. Then it's settled. Let's all give it our all. Install them on location when you're done. Thank you all. I'm looking forward to the completion. In the meantime, I'll ask our town folk to donate anything they can to support your efforts. There we go. That is our main objective. I wonder if people say different stuff at this point. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. I must say, I could get used to this place back in the perifs, whether like this meant you... Whether like this meant you had to be on alert. Yes, the biggest of the beasties like to hunt on days like this. Take her easy. Hmm, okay. Katori? Hello! I used to have a problem with drinking too much yakmel milk. Luckily, Owen helped straighten me out. Now I'm down to just a glass before bed. Okay. See ya. I mean, it's milk, right? But I, I guess, I guess Yakmel milk is uh, almost the equivalent of like drinking beer or something, or drinking alcohol in this world. Uh, maybe it's slightly fermented or something. Who knows? Someone told me idle chatter is expected of close colleagues to maintain rapport. I'm skeptical, but very well. Let us dedicate the next 47 seconds to Kozri. But after that, I really must return to my research. How's your... furnace? <laughs> See you later. My furnaces are doing fine. They're doing really, really good. Anyway, um, I think we could... Oh, okay, Penny's here. Again, maybe she needs something else? Hey, I came to say goodbye. Oh, what? My next stop is Portia. I can't wait to see that town. But before I leave, I wanted to say thank you. Although my old guitar broke, I had such an amazing, unforgettable time in Sandrock. I wonder if she actually appears in Portia as well. And maybe she stays in Portia? But I can't stop. I need to keep moving, discovering the world, finding more inspiration. I want to hear the stories of people all across the free cities. And then I want to put all that into my songs. I'm going to find my own best song in the world. Yeah, by that I mean, uh, I think she probably appears in my time at Portia. Maybe someday in the future you'll hear my song sung from another's lips. Make sure to keep in touch. I'll definitely write to you. Anyway, I gotta catch the bus. See you later, Builder! The bus? Oh yes, that's right. We do have a bus to Portia. Um... I wonder if we could just see her off. Uh, you know, one thing that I haven't exactly done is to visit the school and check out uh, all of our handiwork there. But anyway, I think uh, for the rest of the episode we've got a few things going here. Uh, things in the workshop, there's probably commissions to pick up as well. Dear Blue, I recently arrived in this charming town to be the new school teacher. My goodness, everyone is so friendly. Mayor Trudy said you're the best person to ask if I need builder assistance. Would you be so kind as to come by to my classroom for a chat? 
I'd like to introduce myself before I start asking you for help. To do otherwise would be rude, don't you think? I shall await your visit with breathless anticipation. Okay. We'll go to the school then. Maybe that's the the circle that we can see here, so we'll do that uh, at some point. We don't need to rush into it though. Uh, silver ingots, easy canvas, yeah, zinc titanium alloys, maybe a little bit better. Bio crust, cantaloupes, not a lot of very exciting stuff, but let's do the canvas and the, um, maybe the cantaloupes. And uh, that will be all of our commissions for the day. Check on our machines here. Right. Uh, anything else we need to do right here? Um, just checking on the farm. Everything looks to be in order. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually deal with these commissions first. Um, the North-South Water Diversion Project needs quite a few big items here. Um, yeah, we might work on these things little by little. There we go, the three things. Uh, we might work on the water pipe bracket first. It seems all pretty doable. But anyway, it's in the assembly section, or the assembly station, uh, and we can get to it. Um, but I'm going to do that after these commissions. So it looks like we're going to go visit Chi once more. Oh yes, and I forgot, I do want to go to the, um, to the, uh, Commerce Guild. I want to double check on all of the equipment that might be available that we can make ourselves, hopefully. Hey there. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. How are we doing for cash? Almost at 200,000 goals. That's pretty decent. Uh, I would like to try and expand at least one more time. I think the next ex expansion will allow us to also uh, do one more story, right? So I'm kind of interested in doing that. Uh, someone else near the temple. Hello. Thank you. I think this one's for Danby. There's the school, actually. MIT, it's called. <laughs> Why? Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it later when we uh, when we actually go visit the the teacher. Danby. Thank you. All right. Let's take the Yakmal back, and uh, we'll go to the Commerce Guild, take a look at those recipes. I feel like a lot of stuff happened in this episode, between the whole Andy getting sick thing and um, the uh, the musical com uh, competition. Uh, so I think what we're looking for is this. Titanium daggers. Though... I 
don't know if this is a sword and shield or... Maybe these are daggers, actually. Rune... Omn. Yeah, this is... This is a sword and shield. Heavy... Uh... Heavy sword. This looks like some kind of a mace. I think I'll go with this one. Tempting to just buy every single recipe that I see, but I mean, I'm trying to save up some money here, guys. <laughs> Desert Warrior pants, shirt. Yeah, we haven't really bought any of the Desert Warrior stuff. I guess if we buy some of these things, we may actually get the requests for them as well. Uh, so maybe um, I could unlock some of this stuff just simply to get better commissions. But, I don't know. I don't know if that would actually happen because... Um, we have seen commissions asked of us where we had to go to the Commerce Guild first to buy the recipe before then moving on to to making the things. Let's pick everything up. Drop everything in here. Is there anything that we can just store? Oh yes, I forgot to put the sundial at the um, at the museum. There are various different types of fish. All right. Uh, I may as well just complete this. So very nice. We'll pick that up and we'll just quickly store that. Uh, we've got our furnace that needs some work, so let's just drop in something. We could go with white copper, although there's not really a lot of need. Maybe silver is a better option. Um, slate, stone, brick. We get it from quarrying. I can't say that I've seen this anywhere, though. Um, could be maybe near the starship ruins. Anyway, we'll go with more zinc titanium alloys. Uh, and we're going to need more of the plates, I feel. Because we did use a few. Let's go in with another four. Alright, uh, now, so we do have the ability to craft these daggers, so I'm just going to take a look. I assume we do have the ability now. Darn. <laughs> okay. Um, we need nano coating. We need some gold, which we do have. Zinc titanium alloys we need for this. And we are running low. Uh, nano coating. Nano materials. And we get it from. Nano waste. We get this from junk piles, but I'm not sure which type of junk pile. It could be, it could be something that we get from uh, going into the Starship ruins, uh, but not the mining section, the um, the hazardous ruins. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll spend a little bit of time there. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Should have known, because this is some of the higher tier gear, obviously, so... 
I think we'll spend a little bit of time there. I'm just trying to re recall the last time we actually managed to find some nano uh, waste. And I think that was during the actual exploration quest. Um, I'm just going to go up this way and I want to see if there is actually an entrance now. Oh yes, it, it is all clear now. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, how the, um, the Civil Corps managed to do that. We've got some titanium scrap here, but I'm just sort of looking around to see if there's any more nano waste around. The gold there, I could grab that. Hmm. Huh. I'll see how I go, guys, uh, in terms of maybe trying to find out uh, where we can find some more nano waste. Uh, if I'm struggling, I might do some research um, between this episode and the next to um, see if we can just speed up the process of finding it. I thought I saw gold from around here. Ah oh, yes, it's up that way. My bad. Let me just quickly grab that. Because, again, every bit of gold is very, very valuable. Um, and we're starting to see a need for gold in some of our equipment. Right. Now let's hit up one of these things. Uh, again, we don't really go to the hazardous ruins very often, so perhaps maybe uh, we can find some of those scraps in some of those nano uh, materials. High speed motors. These are just the rewards, right? I mean, not really that interested in any of the rewards, to be honest, but we can go with the tougher one. Um, yeah, it, it could be a bit of a struggle with the weapons that we have. So yeah, I think I, I want to try and open up everything as much as possible. Gotta pay attention to to see whether or not we actually find any of the the nano materials. So far, nothing.
out that thing first. So far, not really finding what we need to find. I'm guessing it's probably not going to be uh, available in this location. Okay, boss time? Actually there's still a few more enemies here. So, aside from going into some of the hazardous ruin locations for, you know, specific rewards. If you can get most of the stuff out of the town, such as maybe buying things from stores or, you know, simply obtaining some of the items in other locations, I don't really see what the, um, what the attraction is, uh, for coming back to a hazardous ruin, to be honest. I mean, I guess maybe some people might enjoy the, um, the combat a little bit more, but I wouldn't say that the combat in this game is, you know, the best thing ever. Um, in fact, I would say that the combat is probably its weakest yeah. element. Okay, now is the time for the bosses, I think. I probably should make myself a new rifle as well. New rifle is also available. Yeah. 
I actually don't have a lot more time. Only another five minutes here. Are these considered to be enemies as well, or...? Uh, I don't think the, the turrets are actually considered enemies. Done and dusted. Grab all of our rewards there. Actually, your rewards are in this room. But yeah, none of the nano materials that we're looking for. Bit of a shame. I'm gonna have to try and um, do some research on where to find it, guys, because uh, obviously we have already bought the recipe for the daggers, so I would like to actually make use of that. Uh, so maybe when we come back, hopefully, I would have done the the investigating and we know exactly what we have to do. But uh, when we also come back, I think we'll be uh, spending quite a bit of time just uh, progressing parts of the main quest line here. So, and by parts, I mean literal parts, uh, uh, making those different things. We also have Andy's Super Shield Mark II, uh, so we'll probably uh, make that in the next episode as well as meet this new teacher but uh, I think this is where we're gonna call it thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave that like down below stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one bye